It's just war. It's 2014 and we're at war. Military ethicists would argue this is a just war. There were good reasons for going to war and the conduct throughout was morally acceptable. It's 2014 and we're at war. Our soldiers are fighting in our name, the citizens of the Netherlands. But this is no conventional war. Our soldiers aren't fighting at the front lines. They are not engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat with the enemy. They are not in the trenches or at opposing battle lines. The military ethicists decide, is this a just war? How about we decide whether war is just based not on the righteousness of its intentions, but on the effectiveness of its actions? We are fighting Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. The goal? To defeat IS and promote peace and prosperity in the region. This is a lesser form of war, or at least it would seem so. Made possible by technological developments and necessitated by risk aversion, this war is now being fought from a distance. Nowadays, waging war means fighting in coalitions with local partners. It means having little soldiers on the ground. Nowadays, we fight war from a distance. And no, I wouldn't call this a just war. First, we fought fist to fist. That relationship, however antagonistic, must have been intimate. We use swords, arrows, guns. Whenever technology allowed us, we have tried to distance ourselves from the battlefield. Then we got up in the air and thrived. The sky was never the limit, really. However, wars cannot be won from the sky. War is all about people, who they are, what they think and believe. It's about their fears, struggles, and possible reasons to fight. Why am I telling you this? Because, although conflict between people is inevitable, war and violence are not. It's 2021, and I'm not sure if we're at war. It's been a couple of years since the victory over IS has been claimed, but rhetoric seems to be far away from reality. It's 2021, and over 11 million Syrians and 5 million Iraqis have been displaced. 80% of both the city of Raqqa and Mosul have been leveled, and the majority of Syrians live below world poverty lines. If the aim of the mission was to protect the citizens of Iraq and Syria, and to promote peace, can we say that this goal has truly been achieved? Or rather, has this strategy created the perfect breeding ground for a new insurgency? Why am I telling this? Because, again, the justness of a war shouldn't be judged based on the righteousness of its intentions, but on the effectiveness of its actions. Because the choice of strategy and weapons should be based on their political effects. Because politics should be brought back into war. Wars can be more just, and not only for those who our government is fighting against, also for us, the people in whose name violence is executed. The war as it is, is fought in the shadows. In a democracy, we should avoid the shadow. It slowly but steadily undermines the capability of our representatives to check, to balance, to decide, to go to war. It is essential that our parliament keeps control over our executive branch. The current lack of democratic oversight of military endeavors is a slippery slope towards a system in which wars can be fought with any oversight of accountability. A system in which a population will never know what harm is done, will never know the price of war, and who pays it. I do not envision a just future in which no wars are fought and the sun always shines. I'm not a pacifist. But I do believe that in our current approach to war, there's so much to gain in terms of transparency, justice, long-term vision and political control. In short, bring politics back into war. 
This means creating a strategy based on long-term political and strategic aims of a mission. This means making sure that our democratic systems remain strong in its checks and balances. This is a more just war. It's just war, isn't it?